Greetings citizens of the world, we are anonymous. George Soros is running out of friends with the election of Donald Trump as President of the United States, and the upset in Great Britain. The pattern is beginning to emerge this pattern is indicating that a major takedown of George Soros and his Open Society Foundation. Among other organizations both as an individual the process of evidence to support such a claim is difficult to collect and present. Because of the very nature of such an operation outside of conspiracy. Sites which promote similar stories like Putin issuing an arrest warrant for secret service members something which has not yet been. Improving real information and evidence is all but impossible to find. And suggestive evidence is about this evidence is best considered and processed through understanding the mandates and strategies which Soros has been involved in and has been attempting to influence, this will be contrasted after against the rising opposition which is represented by the election of Trump I won't waste workspace by going into too much detail of these connections as the internet is full of reliable and validated sources, which can be easily googled and found. We will focus on the broad strokes and obvious connections which make up the larger pattern, the most obvious is open borders, George. Soros and his horde of foundations and organizations have been involved in the funding of ISIS and subsequent migrant crisis, which has spread around the world it has even been suggested that Soros has been involved in the funding of ISIS recruitment within America, the Open Society Foundation and a host of subsidiary organizations are now being openly exposed for their anti-Israeli operations. This could be an attempt to several Israel's connections with the United States and isolate the nation internationally. Why Soros is doing this is not immediately obvious, but will be, as we explain more. The Western Lake U which overthrew the democratically elected government of Ukraine was also influenced by George Soros, which a source has said for Russia improved our well-known but preventing Putin from having to control the natural gas flow through Ukraine was the overriding factor interestingly enough after the casino VP job invested in and set on the board of the natural gas company in eastern Ukraine the victims are representative of the American establishment and serve the interests of George Soros this is how it works the establishment use their own to infiltrate and take over the business and the industry of nations from the inside because in addition, Ukraine was getting further absorbed into the Eurasian Union through trade deals with Russia and China removing the support was instrumental in preventing all of Europe from being allied with the larger Eurasian Union validates the breach plug itself represents the interests within Great Britain heading a geopolitical strategy in case they needed to separate from Europe and remain alive with North America, Soros has also been directly involved in the attempted overthrow of Syria, there are many reasons for this, Syria, is aligned with Russia the enemy of sorts but is that also represents a problem for business interest of both Soros and the Clintons along with others in the American establishment, the natural gas line which was meant to connect the car with Europe traveling through Saudi Arabia, Syria, and Turkey is the major problem this gas pipeline has been invested in by the Clintons and others have said a friend of Russia and Putin has refused to have a growing through serious sorts of the American establishment required to have this gas line in place to keep you from being drawn into the larger Eurasian Union the region Union is an important piece of the developing global governance framework as it's becoming more obvious it is also important to understand that Soros has business relations with the House of Southern these ties will be further revealed as a deeper investigation into the terror attacks of September 11, 2001, convinces and the truth is revealed regarding the full nature of the American establishment and its control over both the Republican and Democratic parties. It is still my conclusion that 9-11 was an attempt to stop the transformation of the international monetary system in its early stages by using the manufacture date to hijack the global government's process. This hijacking has now failed, George Soros has also been instrumental in manipulating Western policy towards Russia and China, in general. 
the NATO built-up in Russia borders is taking place at the same time as the attempted coup in Turkey and Ukraine along the war in Syria. Evidence is now beginning to emerge that both Clinton and Soros had been involved in the cooler champion Turkey reopen was beginning to realize the country with Russia which would have severely affected the interests of service including threatening the route of migrants being forced into Europe as for Chaka the interests of Rothschild and to a larger extent the broader international banking interests have been well represented with the rise of aviation superpower and its integration into the international monetary system China is playing an important role in the removal and replacement of the US dollar as the international reserve currency, the SDR of the international monetary plug is being groomed for this role with the support of China. The American delays in implementing the IMF 2010 quota and governance reforms are better understood as the workings of George. So as to hijack the process and prevent chipped away from the US dollar based unipolar system alternatively they could be attempting to control the development in order to ensure that the dollar remains the dominant asset within a separate. Another interesting aspect of what we are reviewing here is the Panama Papers leaks the case has been made that George Soros was behind this integral was to expose the Roth child connection throughout the global banking network with the intent of taking control of the global governance process. This attempted coup against the Rothschilds and Morgan international banking powers, which they represent is now collapsing and the backlash could very well be violent as stated above the UK vote it was the first obvious counter move against George Soros and his American establishment. This was followed by the election of Donald Trump, the Trump platform represents a direct attack on the organizations and strategies of George Soros along with the UK vote. Donald Trump will be enacting policies to reduce and stop immigration from terrorists supporting nations. This can be assumed to be nations that are in alliance with George Soros. Trump has also openly stated that he will be willing to work with Russia and destroy ISIS and returning stability to the Middle East. It is my estimate that this will include the removal of the House of Suras and their establishment. This will make a stronger Israel. The anti-Israel actions of Suras are in direct conflict with the support which tribe states you will be given to Israel. The American embassy will even move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. What this means for the greater Israel project is not yet determined it can be assumed that any renegotiation between Iran and Trump America of the nuclear deal well involve discussions about Israel. Trump could very well be the first US president along with Putin who brings peace to the Middle East. Such a thing would be a major loss for George Soros. Trump will also be moving forward with alternatives to NATO, Russia is now called on Trump to remove NATO troops from exporters this will likely happen and correspond with the joint military action in Syria and throughout the Middle East, the representatives of the American establishment within the European nations are now beginning to understand that a major shift is taking place in a geopolitical world, repairing relations with Russia should be at the top of the list as the region union continues to grow in size and scope. This constitutes another major blow to the interest of George Soros and his companions in the American establishment. It is becoming increasingly clear that George Soros and those who have used both American political parties are running out of places to hide. The mainstream media is one of those the alternative media allied with their larger mandates of global governance will be one of the winners, I know such a thing may be hard to believe by some but in time you will see an empire is always replaced from within, the seeds of the alternative to the existing empire are planted years and decades in advance replacement of Donald Trump and the internet based alternative media are reflective of that sir as attempts to reverse the election decision in the US has failed just like his efforts to rock and manipulate things in the lead up to the election, it should be obvious that this resistance to Suras and the establishment is not just an organic uprising of the people, Suras of his power behind his opposition and the new sense of nationalism, which is guiding the masses, Suras is attempting to guide 
his masses into two masses resisting each other could mean civil war. But I don't think that will forces are at work to remove Soros and his weapon foundations and organizations both from within and without whether George Soros understood that he was being used as a part of a larger game is hard to determine, the international banking interests of which the Rothschilds are only the outer face of immense power and influence over this world. George may have been presented with a cleverly crafted opening which his corrupt human nature couldn't resist the development of his mandates and strategies, open border terrorism liberal that socialism directly led to the rise of a new form of nationalism this new nationalism is now being used to herald in a broader framework of the global governance system betrayed, and the pattern is clear and from where I sit is hard to connect keep watching for events in the world that prove what has been said here, major war between the world players has been averted but the risk of small regional wars remains. The chess game is not over and there could still be some causalities on both sides. The game may have been rigged against Soros and their American establishment, from inception interesting side note some within the American political and media establishment are now switching sides. They could have been planted there all along. We are anonymous.